Wow, I went on a vacation for 10 days and came back with this. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Everything, all my hydrangeas start blooming and I love it. So, so pretty. And this one is Perfume Breeze. So this one is my, I think she's like on her third years. I got it from Home Depot three years ago. I think it's 2021. I believe so. So that's like when it first come out from Home Depot. And she smells amazing. Look at how much bloom she is. I had two in the front arbor. And I could go there and check it, check it out later. And her cane is pretty long because on my backyard, you see the back, all these trees blocking the sun. The sun comes out from this side and it goes all the way to that side right there so pretty much it's only getting the morning till one or two o'clock and then it start uh had shades all day pretty much um so perfume breeze she's very healthy never give me any black spot in my weather because my weather is kind of dry and hardly had any powdery mildew and she comes in cluster as i say and look at all this it just her cane is so soft and so easy to train and I have um, Wedgwood right there. Wedgwood is really soft also too but Perfume Breeze it just smells amazing. It's so much flower, so much smell. I mean smell the fragrance is just so pretty and it's just like well if you can handle the petals shatter all over you might want to get one in your yard. So it's just so, so pretty. And it's like this one plant that fill up my whole backyard right here. My, I have a really small backyard, I mean, compared to people who live in other state. But this, wow, comes in clusters and clusters and more. There's more buds on the back right there too. It just smells so good. And it has a lot of aphids right now. So most of my roses has a lot of aphids and um, and trip. Um, I've been trying to spray it, but I was like, oh, okay, I give up. There's too many of them. I just, I mean, I'm not cutting this from inside, so they could eat whatever they want and see how much they could eat. But so far, it's still blooming very, very well. And I didn't cut her really hard this year, so a lot of cane, I just like, because they're kind of tall, I didn't really cut them that much, so I just let it droop over. And I mean, some other kind where I do cut them and then train them. This one, I was like, oh, okay, I'm too tired. And this is how it sh she is right now. I mean, still very pretty. Consider it just like dripping all over, right? So yeah, this is Perfume Breeze on my backyard. She could go up to, I think well, could, right now, I would think she will be 13 feet. I'm five feet, 10 feet. 10 feet, maybe 10 feet right now, but that one is kind of long. That one might be 12 feet right there. Well, again, my backyard doesn't have that much uh, sun, so her her king is might be looking for more sun, so it might be much longer. But in my front yard, I plant at the same time, um, her king is not that that long compared to the this one. So, so this one is perfume breeze. So, so pretty. I just love the dripping. So maybe I could just pull over there before my uh, wedge wood start climbing up. Because my wedge wood, I think, is on her second year. This is on wood. And then this is one is, um, this one is third year. So it's a lot of, a lot of balling, especially in spring right now. So I don't know why. But anyway, so this one is, Perfume breeze, and I can talk about wedgewood in the next video. 